Greetings adventurers, welcome to ADV Japan. I've got another great video for you guys. So today I'm gonna to be talking about my Moto Vlog setup. This is something I've been telling you guys I was gonna show you. And so in today's video, I'm gonna do just that. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start with the most obvious, the helmet that I use. Uh, this is the O'Neill Sierra 2. It's an entry level, I would say, adventure dual sport helmet. It's very cheap. I think it's around 200 bucks for you guys in the States. Um, and it's done a decent job. Can't really super complain too much about it. It is a bit loud, and that's just because you cannot close the top vents. And it can get a little hot in the summertime, but it's not as bad as some of the reviews that I have seen out there. And in any case, I am thinking about upgrading my helmet to the LS2 Explorer Carbon. So if any of you guys out there are using that helmet or you have some other recommendations on some possible helmets, uh, then definitely let me know in the comments. Okay, next, um, I capture my video using uh, the GoPro Hero 11, and this is awesome. This is a huge upgrade for me as I was using the Hero 3 before. Um, there are tons of uh, videos about the GoPro and how to set it up and kind of the settings to go through and all that. So I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm simply just going to show you the video and audio, how I capture that when I ride my motorcycle. Okay, so um, along with that, I have the mic adapter and this is what the microphone plugs into. This is a great accessory. I highly recommend it. Uh, finally, the microphone I use is the infamous Purple Panda. This microphone is fantastic, you guys. It works, it's cheap, it's affordable, it's really, really good with the wind, and it also captures the sound of the engine really, really well. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the mounting positions. Now, notice that was plural. Yes, I have multiple mounting positions on my helmet, and the reason behind this is because because like you, I've seen tons and tons of moto vlogs, and there are several different ways to mount the GoPro to your helmet. And quite frankly, I really like them all. And having watched all those videos, uh, I kind of reduced them down to three main positions that I see the most common. And I really like those positions. They all kind of offer advantages and disadvantages. So the first and probably most popular position is the mounting on the chin. And I get this done with chin mounts, these guys are really great, I recommend them. Uh, this guy 3D prints his uh, mounts for GoPro and they're specifically made for the helmets you have. So definitely, if you haven't seen those guys, check them out. They're really awesome. I'll leave a link in the description. The second, perhaps second most common is on top of the helmet. And so I have a top mount up here. And then finally, uh, you also have under the visor if you're looking at like a like an off-road helmet. I do see under the visor quite a bit. Motology, I think that guy, Ryan, he runs his GoPro underneath his visor. So I really liked all these positions. And so I wanted to have a setup where I could do all three depending on the kind of writing I was doing, uh, depending on the kind of environment I was in and just the perspective that I wanted you guys to see. I found that these mounts are just perfect. They work great for where the location is. So if you're gonna use a chin mount, I recommend using this mounting system. This is a little hook mount that you can get on Amazon, very cheap, probably under 10 bucks. And you can probably get this little extension to, uh, it, none of this is GoPro, it's all aftermarket stuff. You can get this little like, bending extension, this arm, uh, equally for probably just as cheap. So this really works fantastic. What it does for the chin mount is it puts the camera right up, uh, right up there, very close to where my nose is. So it gives you kind of that first person perspective, which is really, really nice. So let's go ahead and get this on and I'll show you what this looks like. Yeah, I knew I know some people do mount it on the side here so that they can get the lens here lined straight up with the center of the visor. Yeah, sure, you can do that. That's certainly something you can definitely do. And I may do that in the future. It's just right now I have this chin mount here and it's worked out fine for me. It does move the picture a little bit to the right, as you can see in this video, but I don't know, it doesn't bother me all that much. All right, so that's the chin mount. The next mount that I use is uh, under the visor here, and this is just a GoPro OEM mount. You're gonna get this with the GoPro if you purchase the GoPro, and uh, it just clips right underneath here, like so. Oops. 
All right, so this is the mount underneath the visor and it is, it kind of sits down a little bit, um, but it certainly doesn't get in the way of seeing traffic when you're on the road. At first it might feel a little awkward, but I got used to it and it just doesn't bother me anymore. Um, the, the visor still functions too as well. It does stop a little bit, but you can get some air inside there if you need. This is probably the mounting system that I use the least, but it can be useful. It certainly gives an interesting perspective, which you can see in the video here. Um, yeah, so um, again, Motology, Ryan over at Motology uses this mounting system and uh, it seems to, to work pretty good. Again, it gets it very close to eye level too as well, which is what I like. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the last mount here. So the last mount, um, this is kind of an older OEM mount. I don't think they make this anymore. Basically, it's just this ball and socket uh, kind of joint, which allows 360 mobility, that certainly gives you quite a bit of um, you know, movement laterally too as well. Um, but yeah, you can spin this thing all the way around, get it in really interesting positions. And the position I have it in right now is set so that when this mounts uh, up here, that the GoPro is literally, the lens is centered right down that visor. All right, let's go ahead and get this mounted on the top and I'll show you what that looks like. Now with this mount, I do have to make some uh, adjustments here to get this to look uh, the way it needs to look but it sits pretty much pretty much like this because the helmet does sit down at an angle and let's go ahead and see what this uh let's see if we can get this in the camera here yeah so you can see the lens is literally sitting on the center <laughs> And you can see what this looks like in the video as well too. So I do like this position because it kind of gives that visor that sticks out um, out the front. That's kind of cool. It just kind of gives you an overhaul kind of bird's eye, not a really bird's eye, but somewhat of a bird's eye view. Uh, just an interesting perspective. So again, I like, I like having the ability to have all three of these mounting positions. Now you're probably wondering at this point, um, well, you know, if you have all three of these mounting positions, uh, how do you use your mic adapter? Okay, so I had to really think about this on how I wanted to do this, and uh, I was able to get it done using all of the accessories that come with the Purple Panda. You do not need to buy anything else as far as cords come. The mic, uh, you'll, so you'll need the mic, you'll need the, I think it's about a four, three to four inch adapter. And then there's a much longer, like uh, like foot and a half or two foot cord, adapter cord. So those two cords and the mic will get this entire setup done. So I'm gonna show you how I do this. Okay, so with the adapter, just like the uh, camera, I have three mounting positions for this to hook up to the camera at each position. And it's very simple. The way I did it is I just used some 3M Velcro. This is not any ordinary Velcro. This is extremely high strength Velcro. And you'll see it actually clicks in. It doesn't actually kind of just stick to it. Literally clicks into it. Um, so for the chin mount here, you can see I mount the... Uh, Okay, so for the chin mount, as you can see, I mount it just right here on the side. Let's go ahead and do that. And I kind of put this at an angle. See how that clicked in there? This is not going anywhere. It's extremely high strength Velcro. And then this goes right into the camera. And that's how that sits right there. And then underneath, I've got my, uh, my cable for the microphone. And this just goes right inside here. Now you're probably wondering like, what is going on with all that? So what I did is uh, to make this mic adapter a little more uh, water resistant, it is not waterproof, it's at least water resistant. Um, I wanted to cover up the USB-C port and the phono jack port. So I took some, uh, some heat shrink and uh, just slipped it on there and then zip tied it down and then just heat shrunk it. And it's gonna offer a little bit of, of water resistance there. It's not super waterproof, but I think if it rains, it's probably not gonna have any issues at all. So that's how I set that up down at the chin. Now I'm gonna show you inside the helmet how I hook up this mic. All right, so let's go ahead and take that off. Okay, so, um, so you can see this right here. I've got two inputs. And right now it's in the input for the top mount and the visor mount. And so all I do is remove that from that input 
and I have these color coded, I know that this brown one is gonna be the bottom mount, plug that in and stick it right in there nice and good. And I'm pretty much set. Now you can see on the other side where my purple panda is, it's just sitting right out there from the cheek pad on the right. That's why, that way when I'm fussing around with this, my mic position doesn't get affected at all. Now one other thing you probably haven't seen other moto vloggers do is put some of this soundproofing foam up front. Um, but this front area does not have any cheek padding. And um, you know, you all know when you put the helmet on, you get that kind of reverb effect that happens. And what is happening is your voice is bouncing off the plastic here and it's coming back. And that can cause some uh, feedback issues, some noise issues with the mic. And so what I did is I just got a little bit of, um, you know, sticky back uh, soundproofing foam and just put in uh, the foam there as much as I could right around the microphone. And it does help a little bit. I do highly recommend it. This is all removable. It's not super glued in there or anything. Uh, it just stays in there really, really nice. Uh, and I also notice it does help reduce some of the wind noise too. Okay, so uh, this is for the bottom mount. Now, if I decide I wanna get a new position, maybe perhaps under the visor or on top, then what I'll do is I'll just pull my helmet off, take that out and switch the jack to the upper mount. And I'll show you how I position that next. Ugh. Jeez, I told you, some serious high strength Velcro. Okay, so uh, when I go ahead and mount on the top or under the visor, uh, this basically just goes underneath and lays uh, right on top of this when this is attached. And it doesn't come undone, it doesn't get in my face either, it's totally fine. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get this mounted underneath the visor and I'll show you the mounting position for the mic adapter there. Okay, so the mounting position for the mic adapter here, uh, I'm not sure if you can see that, but basically it's right here. I've mounted a piece of that really strong 3M Velcro and it just sits right there. And uh, let's go ahead and get this camera out of the way so you can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, again, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you can see that. You see that little cord there? That is the audio cord for up top here. And around the top of it here, I have uh, attached a piece of Velcro. And when I'm not using this, I have a small piece of Velcro up here. And basically this just uh, gets Velcroed into there when I'm not using it. Okay, so this comes off. So first I go ahead and plug in this. So I move that back, get this plugged in. Get a nice snug push in there. And then this gets Velcroed in back here. Again, clicking in not going anywhere. And then from here, it plugs into the camera. So that's the mounting for under the visor. And this this little extra cord here, I just kind of shove it inside the vent. And as you can see here, the, uh, the mount here is underneath the visor and the connection point is also underneath the visor. So again, offering just added uh, rain resistance there. Now, before you saw down at the bottom here that there were two uh, inputs, right? These little two inputs right here. So this input right here is being wired all the way through the helmets up through the top. It goes through the uh, through the vent port, pops out the vent port, and gets plugged straight into there. So that's how that works essentially, and I think it works out great. It is it's super easy. I'm not fussing with cords. Uh, it's just two connection points, one down at the bottom and one up here. Okay, so now when I want to move it to the top, I have one more mounting position. So the GoPro goes up here. Pull off the adapter. This stays in, comes around to this side, and I'll show you guys up at the top here. You can see that piece of 3M Velcro. That's where the mic adapter will sit. So it just pops in right there. And again, I try to get this connection point underneath the visor just again to provide a little bit of protection from the uh, from the rain, from the elements. All right, that sits there. And then of course, obviously, the cord gets plugged into the GoPro and we're set. We are good to go. That is the setup for the top. So super simple, you guys. Again, there's no rewiring necessary. This only takes one wiring process. That's it. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. All right, so if you guys found this video helpful, uh, definitely like and subscribe, it really helps out. 
Um, I really appreciate the 100 subscribers in under two months that I got. It's, it's so humbling to know that you guys are interested in my content. Uh, just really awesome, really appreciate it. Thanks you guys, just a shout out to all of you especially the first comers that came, uh, those first five subscribers, just, and they're still hanging around, still commenting, and, and uh, yeah, it, it's so cool, man. This is a community that uh, I want to build um, even, even bigger. All right, guys, so that's the wrap on another video. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, this is ADB Japan, out.